I'm not gonna lie, I got a bit hungry, so I got some Shake Shack. So this is gonna be a Mukbang Plus unboxing, I guess. As always, I'm gonna link down below where I bought this from. I get pretty much everything I have from Amazon, so it's not gonna be too hard to buy. It's always so annoying doing things on hardwood floors. My feet and legs and ankles always get messed up. It literally says not to use a knife, but what else do I use to open the box? How do I open the box with a knife? I'm hungry as hell, so I'm gonna be eating as I make this chair. Let's take a moment to appreciate this beautiful, beautiful meal. Mmm, so good. Mmm, so good. All right, before I start, like I always do, when I get instructions, I always go to the last page and see how many steps I have. Oh, not bad at all, it only has nine steps. All right, so it's not gonna be that hard, hopefully. All right, so step one, installation of base. Insert the base two to base one as shown. I'm guessing that's what this is? Is this the base? I don't know for sure. So I guess I should say this now. The only thing I don't like about this build is that nothing is labeled. Obviously, like you look at the picture, you can kind of figure it out, but there's no numbers, no letter system. It's just look at it and then go find it. So I don't like that, but other than that, this should be a pretty simple build. A pentagram. So I had to figure out what a pentagram was because it says they take the pentagram and add it to the other base. I was like, what the fuck is a pentagram? So apparently this is a pentagram. For anybody out there, you learn something new. It's a lot harder than it looks. Okay, that took a lot longer than they expected, but step two, installation of casters, gas cylinder, and cover. Okay. Turn the base over and insert the casters firmly. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Either I'm just an idiot or these are the most vague instructions I've ever read in my life. I don't even know what a caster, installation of caster. What is the caster? I guess it just goes in there like that. That looks about right. Perfect, step three. We're already almost halfway there. Installation of tilt mechanism and guide rail. Um, see, it says K on here, but there's no K. It doesn't actually say it, I don't think. Ooh, okay. This feels so nice. This is like really nice leather. I'm actually really glad that there's leather because my butt tends to get hot when I'm like sitting down for a long time. So hopefully this will keep it warm. Um, but I don't even know if this is like K or not. I'm gonna assume. Believe it or not, back in the day, I was a really big gamer. Like I played pretty much all the games. And I'm not gonna say I was the best, but I was pretty decent. You know, I, would, I was that kid that played for t you know, 10 hours straight. Parents was yelling at them like, go outside. I was one of those kids. This is the mechanism I need? Okay, this is the mechanism that I need. I'm gonna be completely honest. This is probably not the best setup guide. Mainly, there's a couple reasons why. One, there's no, like, I don't see any numbers on here that indicate what's what. I kinda have to just use common sense and just figure it out. And then two, it doesn't really show a proper way like which direction it's supposed to go. So if you look at this, I mean, it makes sense, right? But at the same time, it's like, which way does it really go? All right, so I'm about to unscrew all of these. Give me a second, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So that took way longer than it should have. Instructions are unclear. I'm not gonna lie to you. So. Here you are, I put on all of the, I don't even know what to call this, all of the me mechanisms. So the only serious problem is that the instructions aren't clear enough. I spent at least like 10 or 15 minutes just figuring out which way it goes because all it says is front is this way. Moving on, thankfully. Step four, installation of footrest. Turn over the footrest, remove the screws in advance, install the footrest steel pipe. Okay, now it's telling me I need to slide it into the into these two things, I'm guessing. Slide. Step five, installation of cushion. Let's see. Let's 
sit on it? That sound is pause. I'm sorry. I think I did it. Oh, it's smooth too. Wow. Oh yeah, that's smooth. I like that. All right, next step. Uh, I need to do the backrest. I need to put it down the back of this. So it should be a good thing here. Yeah. There we oh there we go. Okay. All right. Now you use screw 16 to screw them in. If there's any gamers out there, let me know what games you guys play down in the comments. I would love to know what kind of games are popular out there. I haven't played games in like two years, so I don't really know like what's in the new. I've been playing a game called Elden Ring. Not gonna lie to you, that game is so fucking hard, bro. I was literally stuck on the first boss for like two days. I finally beat, it's a boss called Mar Margaret, I think. And apparently, it's one of the easiest Souls games that they've made, so. I don't even wanna know how hard Dark Souls is. Like if Elden Ring is one of the easiest, and I'm spending two hours on one boss, the first boss, yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be cooked. There we go. I got it on there. I don't know if I'm breaking it, but there we go. Take a nice long shower because holy shit, this is exhausting. All right, so next up, the only thing I have left is the headrest, apparently, and then the, um, whatever it is. Oh, okay, so this was the headrest. The thing that I picked up earlier is the headrest. I still don't know what this cord is about, though. It doesn't really say. I don't know what this could be for. Maybe it's a speaker? If it's a speaker, that'd be dope. I'm gonna try to figure that out. I don't know. Okay, finally the headrest and the back pillow done. Installation of armrest. Attach the armrest to the main body as shown. So as you guys can see, the chair is done. I forgot, I was stressing so much, I forgot to eat my fucking food. And that was cold, so I'm upset about that. Also, throw away this godforsaken pamphlet user manual, whatever the fuck it is. It should be called non ways to fuck you over because my God. And I only ran into one problem with the armrest, which was this here. So this is supposed to go like on the outside here. Hey, can you see? It go on the outside, but it didn't. It doesn't fit. I don't, I don't know how this is supposed to work, but I don't need it, so I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna try. Was this the most annoying build I've ever done in my life? Yes. Behind me, as you guys see, the apartment got even worse. Like it's literally a disaster once again. I think streaming and all that is gonna be beneficial, just not for just me, but for you guys too, because. You know, streaming is more personal. Like, of course, vlogging and like doing this, you get a little bit of my personality, but with streaming, it's a little bit more personal, you know? Streaming is no editing. It's just straight me, camera, you guys live, you know? Which is a cool experience. I have never done anything like that, so I'm kind of nervous a little bit just because I can edit out all my ums and ahs and all my stuttering. When I'm on camera, for some reason, I stutter so much. Like, I repeat words. It's not okay. We are on a road to 10K, you know, we are trying to get there, we're pushing. Hopefully I can get there by the end of the year, for sure. I know I can, I know I can do it. Like if you guys just support, we can get there in no time. It's just up to you guys. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to also like it. I have a lot of things planned, I say this a lot. Finally feel like the apartment's getting to a place where I can call it a home almost. So I'm gonna be doing a fully furnished apartment tour. Stay tuned for that, that's gonna be very exciting. But love you guys, see you next video. I'm out, peace.